Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Head, where I am playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we started off doing the entire Axe sh shenanigans. Uh, I also bought some armor and I got this thing, but... Eh. I'd rather not wear any armor than, than wear that. <laughs> I'll just think like this, I should be fine. I've played this game enough. And even still, like, eh. If I get one shot or if I die at a certain point, who freaking cares? <laughs> if I screw yourself, don't. Um, well, it depends on which playthrough we're talking about, like, where, we're, where I die and all that jazz. Alright. Let's go and wait for the Lothric Knight to move onwards, because I don't want to deal with him. He can suck a load of dick. Alright, you can go and destroy the barrel, so you can move this way. Throw your freaking throwing knives, try to hit me, and then die. Uh, throwing knives, that's pretty decent. A throwing knives. Uh, more firebombs, always handy. Especially when I'm gonna be increasing my strength by quite a lot. God, because um, the firebombs do scale with uh, which strength. Even though I probably won't be using them in battle, but I will be using them to maybe kill an enemy or two. Let's go and kill this guy. Freaking one shot. One shot that poo! Ah, uh, okay. I was not sure what's gonna what was gonna happen right there. Okay, now, dude, does this crystal lizard drop a raw gem or a? I keep on forgetting what this one drops. God fucking. Yep. A uh, raw gem, yeah. I was hoping it would, it would drop a refined gem. Since I was interested to see if I can get a better result by doing refined and increasing my dexterity and strength, than uh, doing a. Only heavy gem and then getting my strength up like crazy. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna wait for this fucking guy to go over here. I'm gonna stop trying to knock him down the ledge because I get fucked by him every single time. Well, fuck. Not really, but the dude just keeps him. Like, he falls down, he doesn't die, and he climbs upwards and I have to wait for him. Which is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. Whoops. I also really have to mind my stamina. Which is a very weird thing for me to do. Since that's another thing that isn't in uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, and I also didn't have to deal with that in the last playthrough too much. <laughs> that was an unintentional kick, but that guy got kicked in the face after he woke up. Oh, hello. You're just instantly gonna start fighting me, aren't you? Alright then, no problem. Should be fine. I'm going to chop him open in the back and then do a strong attack and get to the Lothric Knight armor. Let's see, shall we? The thing that I really don't like about the Lothric Knight armor is like the the neck space down there. Also, her face <laughs> its not really the color that it used to be. Uh, you know, I do think I'll roll with this for now just to have some more defense. Broken straight sword, cool. And also because I don't usually wear the Lothric Knight's uh, Lothric Knight armor, I do tend to wear the leggings. But the armor I usually just ignore because I don't like it that much. Alright, I'm gonna do it differently with this guy now. <laughs> usually I try to run away and then roll, but that almost every single time fails, so I'm just gonna do it differently now. Alright, uh, let me go and get my fire bombs. Scratch my nose again. Because you gotta love the freaking allergy season. Well, even though it's not even the... The funniest part about it is the fact that it's not even the freaking uh, allergy season anymore. But I'm still having issues with some kind of an allergy. And I don't know what it is. Which really sucks. Um, those barrels explode. Nice, I fucked it up. Okay, let's just go and get the attention of the enemy. That's a lot of damage. Alright, get over here, doggo. Also, that was not what I wanted to do. God dang it. Dude, stop being like that. Uh, let's see. Are you guys close enough to those barrels back there? Actually, no, I just, I just threw a bomb in, it, in this guy's freaking back. Okay, then. That works for me. Nice. And goodbye. Well, I would say that if you would actually die. There we go. Um, hmm, am I still going to be able to kill somebody? Maybe if I hit those barrels back there. Nice, and he didn't die. <laughs> and he actually does not know what just happened. 
God dang it. Come on. There we go. Prego, prego. Alright, I'm going to kill you. By attacking you twice, of course. Because one is not enough. Silver kite shield. That's going to be an instant equip. That way I can do my weapon art. And also, uh... Okay, do my weapon art and also something else. Uh, let's go and drop down here. Heal up. That's not a heal. I feel like this... Uh, the deep axe actually isn't that much better than... What the hell, a freaking great axe. <laughs> nice, but not necessary for me. I feel like the uh, the dark or the deep axe is not going to be better than my... Than my battle axe, though. Yeah, fuck, I'm just gonna come... Just gonna equip my battle axe again. I don't feel like the dark damage does any more damage. Like, it might do a little bit more damage, but... The problem with elemental damage in this game is that... A lot of enemies tend to have some amount of resistance or some amount of absorption to it. While physical damage is just like... This is what you get. <laughs> they have a defense stat and... It will always be the same. Uh, for every single enemy. Well, obviously. The exception to that are probably like the... The slimes. Okay, let me go and heal up. And let's go and see if we can take care of the winged knights. The winged knights. Well, maybe not if this guy is going to be using his freaking Beyblade move. Usually I run away from that move when he uses that one. Ow. Dang it. Uh, I can also block now, but I don't really think I will. I don't think I will. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you usually want to be behind him or run away from him when he does that. Yep. We're going to take a look at the crit damage. It's just 100, right? Yeah. Doesn't have any more bonuses to it. Okay, then. Does make a lot of sense, though. Let's, let's go and avoid you. Kill you. And then kill your friend. And tell your friends. Hello! I love that so much. From Fire Emblem Three Houses. The what's it? The dark magic uh the dark magic salesman. It's freaking voice. Hello! Tell your friends! It's so amazing. <laughs> uh, the fact that it's just the, the the amazing part is just the fact that that's like the dude that sells dark magic and yeah. Evil magic, technically. Alright, open the gate. Let me go and get these useless throwing knives. Well, they're not particularly useless, but... And let's go back to the shrine. To go and give myself a little level up. That is if I can, of course. Otherwise it's just gonna be a... Uh, a level up to my other things. <laughs> nice! Alright, let's go and continue to increase my dexterity. Until I'm gonna be able to get uh, heavy gems, this weapon is not gonna have the maze, uh -huh. like the best scaling. Why am I even going over here? What's the bloody point? Hello, Andre. My name's Andre of Astora. I'm going to upgrade the battle axe. I feel like the battle axe is in general a really good weapon, so I'm just gonna be using. Like it doesn't matter if I, I'm how am I supposed to say it? Um. It really doesn't matter too much that I upgrade this weapon because the battle axe in general is just a good weapon. Might not have the best scaling, but I'll have to see. I will just have to see about that one. But I'll first go and uh, rescue. What's his face? <laughs> rescue Grey Rat. There we go. Grey Rat! Yep. I'm actually really not used to blocking. <laughs> because I don't block that much anymore. Ow. There's some enemies that... Against which, like, blocking is really good. There's also a lot of enemies where blocking is almost useless. Ow. God dang it. Also, I've been parrying so much... That... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really need a normal shield. It's 
since I don't usually block and like if I don't like I usually just roll out of the way and otherwise I want to parry which I can't do with a medium shield so gonna be very interesting to see in the playthroughs where I'm like especially in the great uh, the great shield playthrough basically which is gonna be I think what's it like curved great swords and uh, great shields yeah that's gonna be an interesting playthrough because I do still think that great shields are really good like if you want to block stuff great shields are definitely what you should do. Like what you should get. But aside from that, like I, I hmm. kite shields and their blocking capability. Like usually you just get a kite shield because you don't have enough strength to be able to wield uh, a great shield. And also not enough vitality to be able to hold on to it. But otherwise actually it's kinda of weird though, because there is a shield, I think it's a shield of once and the black knight shield. Those shields are not great shields. But they are ridiculously good. <laughs> uh, let's see though, because I could technically go and buy this thing. Because I do like this thing, even though it doesn't really... Ugh, this freaking Black Knight armor, uh, this freaking Lothric Knight armor is not that good looking. Um, let me go and see if I can get enough souls together to be able to buy this guy. 2,500 souls is actually quite a lot for the early game. Um, let's see. Well, I've been wearing this before, but I just, I just really don't like that one. But I also don't really like this one too much. Yeah, I think I'll just run around with this and... Uh, how would the Northern Helm look on this? Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely barbaric, as some people would like to say. Hey, just look at that. A dude who has some pretty powerful stuff. I think that was the Cathedral Knight Greatsword. With uh, with a shitty shield, the East-West shield, I think. And then uh, the Vilhelm armor. Look at all this freaking knowledge I have about... About a lot of shields and weaponry in this game. I wonder why. God dang. Though I missed. <laughs> oh boy, hiccups. <laughs> Ah, oh, hiccups. Alright, let's go and take the elevator. And see if this guy's gonna fall down on me. Nope. Well, not yet in any case. He might still fall down, but I don't think so. I don't think so. As Johnny would say it in Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic, wait, Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure. There we go, that's the name of the game. One of my childhood games. Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure were. Definitely some of my childhood games. One of the better Sonic games in my opinion. From a gameplay perspective in any case. Not particularly... Well, has Sonic ever been something for story? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Alright. Get over here! So that I can... Chop you into bits. I gotta say, I do not really like the axes in this game compared to the axes from Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. God dang, that's gonna suck. Because I feel like the axes from Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1 were a lot better. God fucking... He's gonna do a stab? Nope. Nope. Let's go and roll around. Rolling. Rolling on a free ride. There we go. Dang. Fucking. <laughs> no. Dang it, I missed. This is gonna hurt if it does that. There we go. Okay. God. This doesn't work. This does not work. And I cannot really poison. I don't have Perseverance, so I cannot poison. Or anything of the sort, so. There we go. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, bastard! Got a great shield. And the Lothric Knight Sword and the Knight's Crossbow. <laughs> Look at them freaking rare drops dropping that I'm not gonna need in this playthrough. I'm gonna be grinding like absolutely mad. Like absolutely mad in later playthroughs and I'll be able to find. Yeah. Let me go and equip the way of blue so that I can screw over any invader that invades me because. Why the hell not? Okay, I've been thinking about actually killing this dude, because this dude drops a reinforcement, reinforcement gem. But I'm very unsure about that, how that's gonna go. 
Oh boy, he actually noticed me. Jesus fucking Christ, I never even, never even thought that that would be a thing. Alright. How strong are you actually? Because I never fight this guy, by the way. It's not like the first time I've fought this guy in a long time. I know that this is a Lothric Knight from... Like, this is basically a higher Lothric Knight. You're encountering him later on in the game. But I don't think that it's going to be as strong as the... Whoopsie. As the actual uh, Lothric Knights from that point of the game. Can I please kill you now? There you go. Refined gem, yep. It's not reinforcement, it's refined. Alright. There's one more Lothic Knight. Over here to beat. You might be wondering, like, hey, why in the hell are you even fighting these enemies? These enemies are being tough. Well, because I like to fight them. No other reason, really. <laughs> I just like fighting him. There you go. Another piece of Lothic Knight armor. Do I have enough Estus to be able to deal with Vort? Maybe. <laughs> this could also be the first time that I've died to Vort in a long time, but who knows. I have a lot of HP. I have a pretty decent amount of defense. <laughs> uh, I also have a decent amount of damage, so I think I should be fine, actually. Hi, y'all! Really? Alright then. Okay. Let's go and take a look at people I can summon. Ugh. Like you say, and string bean. <laughs> Interesting names you got over there. Interesting maneuver. Also, I haven't seen the sunlight armor in a literal age. Because I haven't even. I also just noticed that I didn't even equip my gold pine resin, so. Well. That's gonna suck. Suck. <laughs> uh. Um. 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 Um, um, and we're fine! <laughs> well, even if I didn't have it, I'll probably be fine still. There we go. I'm running out of stamina. Because I don't have a lot of them. Ah, okay. A lot of them. I don't have a lot of them, uh, them stamina's there. <laughs> Alright, here comes the dash. Actually, no, you did not do your crazy dashes. I have never seen that happen before. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Up. Also in the second phase of this battle, you don't usually see a lot from the second phase because I just fly through this battle. But uh, in the second phase, Vort's entire body becomes a hitbox. Kind of. Like a lot of the things that he does do damage to you, which is very weird, but I guess it works. <laughs> well, it worked for him in any case. Not particularly for me. Alright. Let's raise the banner. And be carried to my destiny as the chosen one. Or, well, the unkindled one. There we go. Or Ashen one, whatever the hell you want to call me. <laughs> Everything's fine. I also only just noticed the tips on these. on her feet. Like on these shoes from the, the chain leggings. That's interesting. What I never. Right, and a large sword of a deserted corpse. You're gonna get rid of you. Also, I guess I can technically go and equip the boost tier something. Doesn't matter that much. This is actually going to be one of the first places where I'm going to be using the Havel stream, probably. Maybe. It depends. If I feel if I feel it necessary, of course. How are you? Double kill. All right. I don't need you in this playthrough, but I'm still going to get you because why in the hell wouldn't I? <laughs> Are these homeward bones over here? Ay yeah yeah. Ay yeah yeah. Oh boy, my belly is being like, oh boy. You are drinking water. <laughs> and when you drink water, you get hungry. At least that's what I have in any case. Whenever I drink water, I get like an empty feeling in my stomach. <laughs> when, I, when I drink water for like an entire day, I mean. Ow. Why can't I not one shot these freaking Well, I probably can if I two hand my weapon, but. This freaking dude is just being like, uh, sir? Do I even. Wow, that dude died from the freaking gate. Nice. You know what? I don't care. Just open a gate and get me through. This dog can suck a dick. 
Yeah, it's not chasing me anymore. So. Um, it's a video of 20 minutes. Hmm. It would be quite a... It would be, uh, little bit. <laughs> yes. No, it would be quite nice if I could do all the stuff from... Or at least a lot of stuff from the... Another uh, settlement in the next episode, though. So I think I will. Since I do want to try to make the episodes be more like 20 minutes instead of... 40 minutes. <laughs> or anything of the sort. Uh, 14 dexterity, right? Let me go and take one good look again. Just to make absolutely sure. 14 dexterity. Yep. And then from this point onward, I'm going to be dumping everything into strength. Because strength is where it's at. There we go. Now let's see if I can actually infuse this weapon with a refined gem right now. Because I don't remember what infusions make, like are available to you in the beginning of the game. Uh, let's see. Actually, yeah. You can get that. Wow. Raw fire and uh, refined. I'm gonna wait with this. Sure, I'm just gonna wait with this. I'll be back. I'll be back. Alright, people, so that's gonna conclude this episode of this episode. I was playing uh, Dark Super Mario. Why am I constantly wanna say this? Well, I, I, I know why, but still. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode of this episode. I was playing Dark Souls 3. The weapon play choose, and next episode we're gonna go into uh, the Under Settlement and see if we can find, I think, I think the hand axe is in there somewhere. But I don't remember where. <laughs> Goodbye.